part outside. See sharks. Exhibit this way. So these are all photographs. There's no actual sharks in here. So the sand tiger shark. Oceanic white tip. White tip reef. Very awesome though. There's a great white. Cape Cod, USA. It's gotta be fascinating to be in the water with these animals. That's a scary looking type of great white. Their mouth open. Great hammerhead sharks. And bull shark. It's a short fin mako. It's oceanic white tip. You can see the size of that shark compared to the person in the shark cage. This beautiful animal was killed unneedlessly. You can see they're cutting a fin off. Sharks are often vilified in movies and TV shows as vicious man-eaters, but that's not the case. It's a tiger shark. Almost 99% of the time, shark bites are mistaken identity. Sharks are often very curious. You can see the shark here with the diver. It's called a seven gill. It's a bass cam. And whale sharks. Blue shark, short fin mako, got a lemon shark. Lemon. All right, so we're back outside. I'm going to head over to the other building for the manatee sea turtles, otters, and crocs, and more. Apologize for the wind. I just the building we're heading over to next. All right, if you start at the main aquarium. Make sure you hold on to your ticket sub because they check it once you go in here. Vice versa if you start here first. So sea turtles, ancient survivors. Designed for swimming. This is a sea turtle skeleton. See their shells are part of their body. Loggerhead carpus. See the rib cage. See this nice tank here. What are we seeing here? Epaulet shark. Epaulet surgeon. Eye stripe surgeon. Featherfin butterfly fish. Limerick's pygmy angelfish. Orbiculate batfish. Pakistani butterfly fish. Can tell trigger fish. Raccoon butterfly fish. About to get very loud here. Silk and tang. Short nosed unicorn tang. Sling jaw wraiths. Sunburst butterfly fish. Nassau tang. Barred angelfish. Barhead spine foot. Bicolored fox face. Chocolate surgeon. Yeah, if you ever take a look inside of the turtle's mouth. Clown surgeon. Emperor angelfish. Oh, there's a turtle. For what I 
I see this tank runs in the other areas, so not everything that I mentioned is going to be in this particular area. Oh wow, that is gorgeous sea turtle. That's a reproduction of a leatherback turtle. We got loggerhead sea turtle, we got Shelly and Montego. Oh wow. So loggerhead sea turtles. So I asked, this is Shelly, and the markings on her shell, she developed a bacterial infection several years back. Although the infection is cleared up, it didn't have any adverse health effects, it just damaged her shell. So I'm just showing you additional habitat space for those two big turtles. It just happened to be over in that one area. We got some fish in here too. We got some scaled sardine and some spot tail pinfish. White grunt. Black drum. Black fin snapper. Blue runner. Blue striped grunt. Those are the fish that share the habitat with the two turtles. And we know that turtles aren't going to eat these guys because, say with me, fish are friends, not food. Remember that. Next, we got a Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle, and his name is Squirt. And this is Squirt. He's <laughs> a cute little turtle, huh? Yeah. So these guys, the walker heads are for born in captivity. He's a bird strike picker. And he can't, the reason he's here is the jaw doesn't work right, so he can't pick the food off the bottom, which is where all this food is. Oh. Abs and this green turtle. The loggerhead turtle. Hawksbill turtle. Camp's Riley turtle. All right, manatee habitat. I think we should have Having some lettuce. <laughs> Where's the other one? Man, that is a big manatee. Wow. Where did the other one go? They're there. Look out over here, buddy. There's two of them. I don't normally get to see them that large. Which one's the daddy? I think the one behind. With the manatees, you got some Eastern mosquito fish, some mullet, and Gulf cow fish. Oh, the different fish in there. Two manatees, we got Hugh and Buffett. Yes, they are. Manatees fat. It's the current weight of them. Oh. 
definitely big manatees though. All right, welcome to the watershed. Oh yes, I bet I know what's in here. Got some otters. So we got three otters in here. We got Pippi, got Jane, and Huck. There we got otters. North American River otters. Then you got sea otters. Then we got sea lions. And seals. Got the one otter that was playing in the water. There's the other one. Time to get out. I absolutely love to see the otters playing. Playing in the water. Look at them. Oh, I love the otters. Love the otters. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. On their backs. Okay, watershed equals water shared. Two the old timers. <laughs> Reptile ruckus. We got American alligator. Got some alligators. There is Mr. and Mrs. Alligator. Very nice. But the alligators do have a nice size habitat. You guys want to go give it a kiss? I'm going to see a gopher tortoise. It's a gopher tortoise habitat. Why couldn't I touch it? Alright, so the gopher tortoise is almost all the way in the back. There we go. Needed one of the staff to point him out because I just couldn't see him. The tortoise and the owl? Or you can see some rosette spoonbill, a giant leather fern, golden shiner. And bluegill. Oh, spoonbill are such cool looking birds. All of the different fish. Right, right, right below the spoonbill. I don't have to all right, otters in their waters, the second level. So there's stairs going up. There's also elevator provided. Up here in the second level, found the otters up here. Well, two of them. Yeah, two of the otters up here. About to head back down. This land is our land, this land is otter's land. Otters and us. Yeah. 
the same gift shop that we've ever seen? Uh, no, we're in a different building. I don't know what the wall is. Sometimes I don't know what the wall is. Alright, so I am showing you the map again because we're at the Marine Mammal Center. I checked out everything on the bottom floor. So we are now on the second floor. Alright, this last exhibit, we're going to check out Oh Baby Life Cycle of the Seas. This is interesting. All right, we got some mandrid dragonet. Pental urchin. And splendid garden eel. Here right, we got the urchin and the splendid garden eel. Man, those things are really splendid. I don't see uh, any any fish. I want one set of fish, but maybe not. Those are interesting though, huh? Got this nice tank here. It's gonna be Victorian cichlids. I mentioned earlier in my tour that cichlids come in a variety of sizes and colors. depending on what part of the planet they come from. There's next tank here. Get a tiger jawfish. Bengai cardinal fish. Multibarred cardinal fish. Pajama cardinal fish. They're dedicated dads. We're going to see some Caribbean king crab. And we saw this in a, another exhibit earlier in the tour. Some coral banded shrimp. And chocolate chip sea star. Saw chocolate chip sea star earlier. Don't remember if we saw the shrimp or not. Both really nice looking creatures. Got some bumblebee snail. And some sexy and enemy shrimp. Right, so far all I see is an enemy. I'm sure he's in here. We got peacock mantis shrimp. Isn't that so unique? The shrimp just went inside his, his little cave there. He was just sticking his head out, but. And he's gone. So a nice looking tank. Got some Panamic Barnacle Blemmy and some Blue Green Chromis. <coughs> the Blue Green Chromis, those guys are easy to see. And I guess that's the other little guy right there. Wow, they saw him. He wasn't moving around just a moment ago, I would have just completely missed him. Takes two trigger fish. This next tank here. Got some golden edge trigger fish. Here's two. Got some real anemone in there with them too. Very nice. 
Oh, I came back and the peacock mantis shrimp <coughs> popped his head out. Or part of his body anyway. He was in his little cave. Oh, there he is, yeah. was in his cave a moment ago. Yeah. We got strange changes. <coughs> He's got Australian spotted jellies. Look at little mushrooms. There's our lagoon jellies. Got this terrarium here. It says beware of toad. There's a cane toad in here. You can see just how big he is in the water. That is a big toad. See where he's just hanging upside down. Look at him. Hanging upside down by the tail. Next up we got this. Nice round tank. See some pot belly seahorse. So nice. Alligator snapping turtle. All right, so I'm trying to show him to you. You can see part of his shell here. One right here. He's got his mouth open. That's him in his mouth. There's some big jaws. There's a picture. That's a big toe. You can see how it looks. These are called. Got this next habitat here. There's oxalots. Oxalots are really, really cool looking critters. Got another one over here on the log. Very, very nice. He's even got a white one. Almost missed him. Shows you how they regrow coral. Got some aligned seahorse. Another tank, more line seahorse. Ah, oh, these things are so cute. Another tank here. There it's stone crabs. Better view of the stone crab. And it's snuck right next to them. Oh, we got the shark touch pool. So the different sharks. You got brown banded bamboo shark, epaulette shark. 
the upper right there. Brown banded bamboo is up at that end. And all you're going to see on the coral cat sharks is this tail sticking out. Oh. <laughs> they, they're all nocturnal. Oh, okay. So it's like they're like you're trying to sleep. Yeah. Wait till dark comes and look at. This is the epaulette shark. Seen them multiple times. And then a brown banded. Yeah, you're going to see. See how he walks? That's what I was talking about. They'll walk in their flippers. You want to touch one, huh? Stand over here. Come on over here. Stand right there. Sam, so can't see you. Go ahead. Do it quick. Oh! <laughs> you little sneaky devil. Go ahead. Did he get any splash? No, he didn't. He was sniffing me though, I think. <laughs> he was probably sniffing that now. Yeah. That one? yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him coming. I was going to say something, you but you were out. Two different sharks. Yeah. Here from the second floor, got a much better view of the uh, American alligator down below. Hanging out in the water. A lot better view of their habitat. Where's that spoon bill? Trying to get a better view of the gopher tortoise for you. One last look at the river otters. Enjoy this little area here. A little slide. All three of them. This is my slide. Get off my slide. Right out in the parking lot between the two Moat Aquarium exhibit buildings. You gotta save our seabirds. Free admission, so I'm gonna go inside and check the place out. Oh, we got a great horned owl. There we go. That is a gorgeous bird. Very, very, very nice. Pretty bird. Got a red shouldered hawk. Another gorgeous bird. Wow. Fantastic. Next up we got a barn owl. See two of them in here. See like they're trying to get a nap in. Oh, those are pretty also. Got barred owl. So we got two of them in here. We got one here, and the other one is over a little bit further. Got a red-tailed hawk. He's cleaning her feathers or his feathers. Oh wow! Look at that. Got Eastern Screech Owl. Got its head sticking out of the box. Looking at me. Why are you disturbing me? Sorry if I woke you up. Hi. We got a Crested Caracara. Oh man, that's nice looking too. Yeah, look at that. Another very pretty bird. Love its colorations. Oh, this is really nice. I really love scenery like this, little waterways and the different plants. Got some flowers popping up now. Oh, hibiscus. All right, we got some fish crow. It's difficult to get a good view of them. 
Turkey vulture. These guys are scavenger birds. They clean up all the dead things that are found inside the roads. Usually the victims of a car. We've got a black vulture. It's like the turkey vulture. These guys eat dead things. Then again, humans eat dead things also. We've got snowy egret. Got a Muscovy duck here having a bath. I see these all the time near my home. It's a big lake that I pass by and uh, a few retention ponds and these guys are usually congregated around there. It's called a lesser scope. S-E-A-U-P, hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Cute little duck. Yes, he's from Eurasian Collared Dove, White Winged Dove, Northern Cardinal, Morning Dove, and Common Crackle. Oh, it's got a Blue Jay. Some of this wire mesh makes it a little difficult to see the birds. Yeah. There we go. There's the there's the blue jay. It can come see the ducky. Hey, pretty bird. Here's some wood stork and great egret. Now we routinely see these two types of birds also. Wood storks are um, good looking birds to get their head. <laughs> Pretty gnarly looking. Mm -hmm. Egret up in the tree. Got a piloted woodpecker. These guys are really neat looking too. Got the red on it. Got red hair. Got some Canada geese, eh? I see these guys all over the place at all the different zoos that I visit. Next up, we're gonna see some sandhill crane, some Indian peafowl, rock pigeon. Hi! Wow, these cranes are cool. Okay, so American white pelican and brown pelican. So Florida has an overabundance of these birds. Mostly seen brown pelican from my area on the uh, west coast of Florida. But occasionally we'll see uh, the larger white pelican. But these guys are going to be pretty much anywhere near there's like uh, boardwalks or piers on the beach. Especially where people are fishing because they are opportunistic birds. Double crested cormorant. Now these type of birds are really cool because they are not able to dry their feathers like most seabirds where they have like oils these guys actually have to spread their wings and direct sunlight and dry the old-fashioned way got some great blue heron 
Seen him up on the nest. These are gorgeous birds also. Next up we're gonna see the main hinga. Hopefully I said it correctly. An American bittern. Just got the one bird in the back. Other one's down here in the water. So he's playing scuba diver. Here we got some herring gull and laughing gull. Uh, laughing gull are the ones we usually have here. You just heard him make that noise. That's the laughing gull. Herring gull further in the back. Got American oyster catcher. He keeps moving between the different habitats. Looks like all three of these areas interconnect. As you see larger, larger of the seagulls over here. There we go. There he is. That's the American oyster catcher I was trying to show you. That's a big fat goal right there. We got a blue and gold macaw and a cockatoo. Hi. Pretty birds, huh? It's an umbrella cockatoo. Hello. Hello. Bird. You see a pretty bird? Pretty bird? Pretty bird? Happy birthday. Happy, well, thank you. It's not my birthday, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Got a Milwaukee cockatoo. Hello. Hopefully I said that correctly. Hello. You saw Chatty a second ago. <laughs> it's a Nandy Conyer. How are you? Oh, you guys are loud. Loud and chatty, which is good. Yeah. All right, so this Save Our Seabird Sanctuary receives all of its funding through donations. And I'm sure through grants. You can get your own personalized brick for $100. All right, so when you come to the Moat Aquarium, be sure to stop by to save our seabirds. Sanctuary, free admission, but donations are very much appreciated. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for my visit to the Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium in Sarasota, Florida. Had a phenomenal time. Saw lots of beautiful aquatic fish and sea turtles and some sharks and really cute little seahorses and jellyfish and all sorts of cool stuff hope you guys enjoyed my visit i tried to get as much signage as possible uh i apologize if some of the signage didn't come up certain parts of the tour were very congested and i was trying not to block exhibits too long for other patrons so leave some comments down below what your favorite part or favorite sea animal that i saw today was as always, I welcome comments, suggestions, criticisms, if you're nice about it. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It is growing almost at 6,000 subscribers. I'm thrilled about that. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.